Ooh-wee, Big Mo and the dog. Uh, homeowners, you know, there is an advantage to having an observant lawn care guy. In this case, you didn't have to be Sherlock Holmes, okay? Yeah, there's obviously a dog. Yeah, that too, but there's obviously a leak. And uh, as you can see, whew, it's deep, I ain't walking through that. Um, as you can see, it, uh, it's pretty obvious, but when I first saw it, it wasn't as obvious. I mean, it's right here. You could see it trickling out of there. And this is where it originated. That's where it originated from. But yeah, uh, I guess so. I mean, if you're out there mowing your own yard, you'd, you'd notice that. But sometimes it's not that obvious. Sometimes it's just a spot. And, uh, it's good to have a lawn care guy that can that knows that stuff and and uh, tells you about it. He, even though that's obvious, okay? He saw all that. He had no idea. He had to leave. And he's probably already lost a lot of money in uh, water bill cost uh, by the look of it. Because I hadn't been here in two weeks. So he could have been doing that for... It could have been it could have been doing that for two weeks so anyway i always be on the lookout guys this goes out to you lawn care guys and i think most of you do this I always be on, on the lookout for soft spots and wet areas and always be sure and let the homeowners know you know because that can uh can run up into some gitas now let's go mow with mo <laughs> been a pretty long day but I came home got me a shower shaved the scruff off my face and even ate a banana no I didn't eat a banana oh have you ever had one of those really long days though where 
you think back to the beginning of the day and it almost seems like it was the day before that you're thinking about, you know, it was that long. We used to do that a lot when we first started out working for this, this guy, when we first started, it was like, uh, we would get there before the sun came up, still dark and it would be dark when we left work. And those are some long freaking days, but when you get older, that gets harder. I mean, you could still do it, but you're gonna pay for it the next day. <laughs> you're gonna be like uh, wiped out the next day and sort of useless. But what I wanna know from you guys in the comments is like when you have a long day, do you have much like in other, in other avenues of life, in the lawn care biz, you can be going through the day and man, you can hit a wall and be like, man, I can't go any farther. I just can't do anymore. But then you get that second wind. So tell me guys, do you, do you guys get that second wind and all of a sudden you can do it and you just keep going and you just keep going after you get that second wind. But then, like I said, you know, it kind of wipes you out for the next day. But anyway, Something else I want to touch on is uh, you guys here lately have been get, giving us some questions about Brando and I being related. And a lot of you people that have been watching for a long time, y'all know that. You know, that's old news. But some of the newer viewers might not realize that. They seem shocked. But yes, King Brando and I are related, okay? But not only that. Not only King and King Brando and I are related, but also Abram, Abraham is related to us. And also JR is related to us. And believe it or not, even the masked ranger is related to us. <laughs> so yeah, a little freaky. It's a family thing. It's a family thing, okay? And we consider you guys family as well. We love all you. You be safe out there. Eat your Wheaties. Take your vitamins. And all that jazz. Take care of yourselves. And join us again on our next adventure on the next video. Please. And give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell if you so desire. And uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, Big Mo signing off. Boo!